Hello again. Our first strong cold front of winter has arrived. The bay whipped up the waves as winds gusted 60 to 80, locally 90 k's an hour. When it was raining, it was very grey. But as the day was filled with showers, it was bright one minute, grey and pouring the next and repeat. This is actually the warm part of the weather system. It did reach a top of 16.8 in the city in a sunny break this afternoon. But thanks to the howling winds, it felt much colder than that. It all began around midnight, showers streaming through, tending to steady rain at times, delivering 2 to 15 millimetres across town. The wind is northwesterly, so western parts reach 16 to 17, but only 14 over in the far east. It is a fairly dry evening ahead. Showers are most likely in the southeast, but it is not yet over. Our winds and rain will ramp up once again later tonight. The cold front spread showers, tending to rain across most of Victoria, with local thunderstorms in the south. In the warm part of the system, it is falling as snow on the Alpine peaks, but not on the lower Alps yet. Thanks to steadier rain in the northeast, it was a rather chilly day there in the low teens, while the northwest and southeast mainly reached the high teens. Winds at Mount Buller gusted 122 k's an hour. These eased tonight over the northeast ranges. But damaging winds in showers and thunderstorms will continue over these lower parts of Gippsland into tomorrow. This is a one-two punch system. Today's cold front followed by another one tomorrow. Winds are westerly behind the first front and southerly behind the second one, so that will introduce colder air. Then we enter a very stagnant weather pattern. So that cold air is set to linger over Victoria, not just for the rest of the week, but over the weekend too. Around the nation tomorrow, lovely sunshine in Brisbane. Showers may reach Sydney's coastal fringe. Showery in the southeast and in Perth. To Victoria, widespread showers over the south and east, cold enough for wintry hail in the south and we do have snow across the Alps, contracting eastwards as the day goes on. Dry over the northwest of the state but with a fair bit of clouds. It is cool to cold in gusty winds that gradually ease. Closer in, the next burst of wet weather, here it is, arriving around midnight, along with gusty winds and the potential for wintry hail. That continues through the morning tomorrow, then it all eases during the afternoon. We'll be back to lighter winds, grey skies and a bit of drizzle, but it's chilly. The city has cold air, chilly winds, just 13 showers in the morning, then grey and drizzly. On the eight-day outlook, where every single day is average or below Thursday, top of just 12, grey and drizzly. Friday, Saturday, 14, a mix of sun and clouds, some chilly nights, and then we'll get some more wet weather coming in next week. But really not a great outlook. It is just 13 for tomorrow. We've got those gusty showers. They arrive around midnight, they continue in the morning, and then they ease, Mitch. Lovely time with you <laughs> in Melbourne. Thank you, Jane.